Welcome back to Call of the Sea. In the last episode, we explored the well and found, I think, the solution to this black ooze problem. So let's see if we can solve it. We have these three eyes that indicate where the black ooze drops go. Problem is, we don't know the position on the lens, right? I mean, this might be the lens, but we still have to find out... Um, the size of the ooze and uh, where they are actually on this what is that oh nothing on um, this map so let's see if we can find out so i think we have to create three lenses so we have three positions from the middle so I think the first eye, I can look at them, right? Yeah, it's a big ooze spot all the way down here. So what are the sizes? Small, big, yeah, small, big, middle, right? We have three sizes. Okay, so let's go with the biggest here, maybe. And then I think one up and three one up and here and it seems to be like the middle but how can I take it how do I lock it in with the meter got up didn't it that's the first one isn't it Oh, maybe. I think so. Can't be here. Maybe here. Yeah, maybe it's that spot and not that. Let me try if it does something if I put it there. So. Here. No, that. That seems wrong. Right? not it. It was the former spot. But the thing is, what do we do now? If we have to create three of them, can I take it? Like, how do I use it? Know what I mean? I want the next one. Do we just put them all together? So that's in the middle. Here. And I think it's a small one. Oh no, the middle one. And a small one here. Then a big blob all the way to the side and a small one like all the way there and then one up all the way there no one up and all the way there right yes I think I solved it Okay. I wonder what I might be able to see with this lens. Yeah, me too. Can I do something now? We wrote it down. Yeah, okay. So we had to combine them. Good. Well. It fits. Of course it does. Let's see. Ooh. What the? What? what oh, on earth is it's what the is stars happening? down in the well. Do we did we write it? Yeah. So these are the stars that we have to activate. My God, what? What was that that I saw? What were those stars? Yeah, we know that, but where did the ship go? And why did we see that? 
looking through it. Huh. My God. <laughs> what was that that I saw? What were those stars? It's okay. I know what to do. <laughs> Don't you worry. Okay, I hope we saw everything here. Because I think the moment we activate the stars, we move on. Which is fine. I kind of like it that she actually climbs ladders. I know we're not used to these slow games anymore. Nowadays. <laughs> I remember when I replayed the Tomb Raider series here on the channel, that was a pain in the butt sometimes, because I think that Lara Croft is, in the first Tomb Raider games, the slowest ladder climber ever, and there are so many ladders. <laughs> so freaking many, that you have to climb up and down all the time and it lasts forever. Where do we start? I think the golden star here is the last one, right? So that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we start here. Is it the one opposite? Yeah. So from here here oh and the ooze then oozes out <laughs> that's very oozing here then all the way there then inwards right all the way no one further then now go back here into the middle then we go out and we stop at the golden at the golden star. Are you ready? I am. Gosh. I think I made a mistake. I heard the clicking sound, but nothing happened. Was that the mistake sound? You made a mistake? I think so. Because I think what, what should happen is that it comes loose, right? But this fell on top of you. Maybe it's broken. Do I try again? Maybe we have to start at the golden star. Let's start here. Then all the way down here. I mean... One, two, three. Four, five. Right? Wait, one, two. Yeah, must be. Right. Looks like I saw it. Oh yeah. Thought this would be the end point and not the starting point. Didn't know that that mattered. <laughs> but everything matters. Great Scott! Oh, the, the, the well oh, is filling up. That, that's black ooze! No, no, no. What's happening? What's happening? I, I'm feeling faint again. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have done that. What is this? Where am I? Am I dreaming again? This is different. It isn't my recurring dream. I can't 
Stop walking. My legs aren't responding. Holy Moses, what... what is that creature on the horizon? Wait a moment, I... no, no, no! Ah! What? I can swim. I... I can breathe. Underwater. Okay, I don't go there. Ah, I can swim faster. Yeah. I have to get back. I, I have to find... There's something we can find. Huh. Okay, cannot get through there. I think we swim into the open sea, don't we? And towards that monster? What is that? What kind of creature is this? What? I don't see it. Oh, goodness. I don't... I don't... <laughs> I don't. Oh, it's gone. All is good. I can just... <laughs> I can just ignore it. It's so funny. Normally, I do not play horror games. I don't know why, it's just... I'm not especially scared or something it just it just doesn't appeal to me that much I uh, need to get a closer look but I'm not gonna say I don't get spooked oh <gasps> what the but the funny thing is um I played one that I just had in my, sitting in my library and uh, I think it was layers of fear or something and I just played it like it's not intended at all like i just didn't use i think there was like oh. what happened oh that's but right how did i get to this beach? oh it's the ship yeah oh, i have a terrible and the black, headache and the black beach so yeah i didn't play it like it was intended chapter three the vanishing of the lady ship well there it is and we saw it already through the through the lens and uh, so I just didn't use, I think there were like um, matches uh, and only very limited light options and I just didn't use them so I played it in darkness because I could see a little bit without them and uh, I just like remembered my paths around and I just didn't use the light and then it's not spooky at all. I mean if you're not spooked out by darkness and darkness I don't mind so but then all the spooky things I just I didn't see them. It was very funny and very bizarre. <laughs> so yeah. So only the the music, and um, then it was only I mean it's only spooky because there is spooky music. That's a funny thing with spooky films too, right? And games. So if the music wouldn't be like this uh, violins like getting louder, uh, and in th this chittering sound, it, you would just think okay. <laughs> that ship, torn apart and cast so far up the beach. What on earth Crazy. could have happened to it? I wonder what else could be seen beyond these shores.
looks like they took items from a stranded ship. It's too dark to see anything inside the tents. I should find a way to turn the... A Pope magazine? I love Chandra Hogarth stories. Oh, that's cool. Tales from Beyond. That... Oops. What? Oh, they don't let me look at it. Because... She said it's too dark. I mean, it's not. So we have to find light. Okay, okay. I play along. What is that? Someone took notes about some important dates. June 30th. Uh, arrival on the island. July. We set up camp. July 14th. Roy blows up the well's hatch, July 24th, we strike camp at and move to the beach, so that's not strike, July 14th, last entry in the Lady Shannon's ship block, same day, I don't know, set up camp, I blows up the well hatch, 24th, we strike, yeah, we strike camp. Oh, is that ah to strike camp? Okay. Why is July fourteenth the last entry? So they came with the Lady Shannon. Then they unboarded. So the expedition unboarded and came to land, and the Lady Shannon maybe drove away. But then it reappeared here with, look at these, with these scratches and all. And then they found her and saw that the last entry on the ship log, which sailed away initially, was the 14th. So on the 14th, this, whatever this is, happened. And then got beached here. Oh, that's cozy. A field kitchen. I like it. And they even have electricity and everything here. Oh, the there's the, crew, the expedition. So she's part of the expedition. I wondered before. So she's with them and we saw her on a picture, I think with him. So they may be like wife and husband. Then the local guy, who is their, I think, um, local guide. No, that's our husband, isn't it? Is that Harry? I think so. <laughs> God. I cannot remember people. Neither their names nor their looks. It's horrible. And it's not only in games. Did he take some amulets from the other campsite? Or did he carve some more? I suppose that was the tent of, uh, I don't know his name, sadly, of the Polynesian guy. That we don't know, maybe Harry? There are only four chairs around the campfire. And five members, right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So I think he didn't sit on a chair then. Just assuming here. I don't know. I think we go to the ship last. Oh gosh. The menu is rather limited here. It was a very well equipped expedition, I must say. It's not limited at all. Hey, this sailor is a dead ringer for my grandpa Isaiah. Innsmouth's fishermen. Sardines. <laughs> That's funny. 
they ate sardines out of the can, although they could have just fished some. I mean, maybe not sardines, but... Ah, that's how we, how we get light. Dead as a doornail. <laughs> Dead as a doornail. <laughs> Lady Shannon. Sydney. So these supplies are from the ship. They just looted the ship. Discarded clothing. It hasn't been worn in a long time. So let's get the electricity going. Goes in here. Somebody ate here. Why is that? Lady Shen. <laughs> they really used the stuff and made a cozy camp. And decorated it even. Oh, look what's there. The eye. Ooh, wow. Let's hope there's a generator or something. More tents. I mean, they still used candles. Aha. Uh -huh. They watched movies. Hmm. Is that a piano? The symbols are linked to the piano keys. But we haven't seen a piano yet. Wow, look at the size of these stones. South Pacific Expeditions. Oh, I'd love to read that. Dang, megalithic basalt stones. Let me read the book. Oh, here's the piano. Oh, look at that. It's floating. Did it find out how to use the energy of the black ooze to actually create energy? That the witch, that's the doctor, stabbed Frank. Luckily it was just a flesh wound. It's a good thing they held me back or I would have plucked that nutcase like the rabid dog that... Jesus, what am I saying? I've never seen Harry so angry. Wait, that's Harry? Oh, that's interesting. So he's losing his mind too. Everybody's losing his mind. You always did have a good ear, Harry. I've been studying this structure for the last few days. The tones it emits change consistently with the tides. Where is that, though? How can someone build something like this out of stone? Huge stone pipe organ section. The sea stone structure, basalt structure. Waves push air through carved stone tubes and then it emits a sound. Cool. I hope we'll hear it. Captain Hodgson told me that knowing the lunar cycles is useful for better navigation at night. So, Harry probably took this calendar from the Lady Shannon. That the full moon? Yeah, oh, new moon. New moon, full moon. Do we have to remember that? A rock stained with black ooze. Looks like the prototype of something. She likes the black ooze too. I mean, who doesn't? The rock stained with black ooze. <laughs> Looks like the prototype of something. Okay, do we have... Yeah, we have it. 
Let's read the log. No, we are missing something. Wait, wait, wait. Here. I lost consciousness inside that well and got covered in black ooze. But I didn't drown. Instead, I had the strangest dream. I mean, it was a dream, wasn't it? Or a vision, maybe? I'm still not sure. I couldn't control my own body. I jumped off a cliff and dived into the sea. November 7th. I woke up in the dead of night on a black beach. But I can't remember how I got here. I've just got fuzzy memories like a dream. An enormous shipwreck casts its, sh its shadows over the black sand on this beach. It looks like lights are shining through the cracks in the hull. And then something is missing here. And then we have yeah these notes. I mean... Two, three... I think we're missing the symbols yet, or the order of the symbols, right? What kind of doodad is this? Doesn't make a sound. <laughs> doodad? Okay, yeah, we're, we are still missing information, I think. I mean, it could be one, two, three, four... What then? Five, six, seven? Dum, 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 dum. Could try. I already forgot. <laughs> nope. That's not it. A ah, new fall. We only need November. Cool, cool, cool. That she knows that stuff. So we cannot get the electricity running until we know what that does. Where's the organ? Up there. Isn't it? Oh wow. That's the Lady Shannon. It's curious, but it's the first time since I got sick that I feel useful. Harry is depending on me and not the other way around. Hmm. Always check the dark corners. Oh, they are cooking that stuff. What odd structure. <laughs> it doesn't look like a building, though. Yeah, I don't think he's cooking anything. That might be connected to the pipe, though. What odd structure. It so we have to like open that building, door. Though. Finally. There's the same symbol as downstairs. Sometimes I still doubt whether this isn't just some ghastly dream. So that's just a look out. Cannot continue here. Well, then let's check out the ship, shall we? No gosh. <laughs> Oh, 
it's another hmm. yeah no power or maybe the power comes from the ship but not from oh the cave the oh. ship's hull was ripped open a few jagged rocks couldn't have caused a gash of this size nope nope not at all down here where does the power line go up I suppose right yeah okay oh, this place gives me the creeps See any trace of the ship's crew, nor their remains. I want to check out that. <laughs> oh. That voice. So is that Harry? The crew is completely gone. Not even dead people. No. Just a recording. Yeah, not, not even bodies were found of the crew. Nothing works. Unaccounted for. The five of us have survived, but we're stranded on this island. Please There's a picture of the ship on the ship. That's funny. Okay. This is a distress call from the Everheart expedition. Hmm. The ship was whaling not far from here. Tahiti. Wales. Where are we? Even the crew of the ship that brought Harry's expedition to this island were afraid of it. This is the lark. Can we turn pages? Does not seem there. so. June 30th, 1934, 8.25 a.m. We delivered the six members of the Everhard expedition to the island without incident. We'll come back to pick them up again in three weeks. If there's anything left to pick up by then. 12.40 p.m. Left the island after lunch. No incidents. July 1st, 1934, 6 a.m. The area nearby seems adequate for whaling. We might get, we might get a good catch. Hmm. This is the captain's last entry. On July 14th, 10.25 a.m. Good weather and clear sailing, until the surprise on the current shook the ship. I haven't seen the sea that rough in years. 17.25 PM. First mate swears he saw a huge sea creature near our hull shortly afterwards. Definitely not a whale. Well, whale doesn't have claws, as far as I know. Frank is certainly a resourceful man. I've wired up your message to the radio like you ask, Mr. Everhart. 
I still keep uh, broadcasting as long as the ship gets ships got back. God help us. It'll keep broadcasting as long as the ship's got fuel. Oh, that can't be too long though. I mean, it depends. What were you looking for in the heart of the island? I was thinking this expedition had failed, but then I found those stairs that led me to that giant stone organ. It might be another way to get to the very heart of the island. In any case, there's nothing we can do until someone hears our distress call. Yeah, better get moving then, right? To one. Maybe the legend is more real than it seems. On the island of Ponapi, there's a city called Nen Madol that's composed entirely of large basalt structures. Legend has it the city was filled with floating stones moved by black magic. Massachusetts University. Ooh. These knobs must control the vibrations inside this chamber. Oh, it's more black ooze. Black ooze's properties are perplexing. Black ooze test. Changes consistently. Levitates when exposed to different vibration frequencies. And he tried some. But... but how do we want to move them? And I was completely covered in that black goo. I wonder what it'll do to me. Everything on this rotten island has something to do with that damn black ooze. In one way or another. The ancient ruins, the ritual well, even Dr. David's irrational behavior seems to be related to his getting exposed to that awful liquid. Question mark. Huh. Interesting, interesting. We still don't have electricity. That's where that cable goes. Oh, I can shut it off. Should I? Apparently, Carrie's expedition waited for a long time to be rescued. Did they give up hope? Let's shut it off. It's a bit annoying. We don't want to be rescued. We want to find out what's going on. And I want to open these hatches. <laughs> okay. I'm going to end the episode here. In the next one we try to get the electricity running. I think here on the other side of the ship. Is that black ooze? No, that's water. <laughs> And then we'll find out what the ooze does. Until then, thank you so, so much for watching this episode. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and...